Is it just me? My cheek? Probably. But I don't care. <laughs> It looks real to me. Does it look real to y'all? If it doesn't, keep the negativity to yourself. Good, how you doing? Good. Well, call me when you get home. Okay. I know. What's up everybody? My name is Andrea. If you're new here and if you are, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. To my OG subscribers, thanks for tuning back in and welcome back to another video. <sighs> okay, so I know this isn't our usual post day, but Friday came and I was tired. He said, it's too hard, boy. He Exhausted, drained, depleted. So I took a little breaky break. I took a couple, you know, I took some time off to rest and now it's game time bitches i was just gonna make this whole week a break week but i actually got some rest on friday and i feel a lot better so i was like let's hop onto the camera and give the people a video because i don't like to leave you guys hanging and honestly it doesn't feel right with me not posting for like two weeks like that just doesn't sit right with me it's not right no so I thought I would make today extra special, a little bit longer, a little bit different from my usual videos, and I would pick up the camera. Yeah, we're gonna all get together and we're gonna go shopping! I decided I wanted to go to the outlet today, so let go. I've been so in love with these waterfall coffee tables. $6.99. Really, really cute. Love the wood. This little table is cute too. $5.99. I think that might be, I think that might be from the Athena Calderon collection if I'm not mistaken. Here's a bigger version of that coffee table. $7.99. Oh my gosh, so cute. Y'all know I'm really digging the mocha. These little chairs are cute too. Oh wow, this would be so cute for a nursery. It actually rocks, $9.99. And take 30% off of that. We love a curvy sofa. An extra 30% off of 2300. Oh my gosh, they have so many cute chairs. Look at this one, how cozy. 2700. This is a cute bar cart. I actually don't like bar carts that much, but this one is a good one. $5.99. 
looks very upscale because they can look kind of cheap sometimes. So that's a good one. Hmm. Hello. Hmm. I wonder how much you are. $128.97. Fifty percent off yellow sticker price. I don't decorate for Christmas, but they have some Christmas stuff in here. It's like a travertine sleigh, and then they have the little nutcrackers in here too. The other one is back there. Ninety-eight, ninety-seven. It's a little candle holder. Thirty-eight, ninety-seven. Um, overwhelmed. <laughs> I've been eyeing this for so long. I have nowhere to put one. But 2,000, 40% off. It's off track. I found these chocolate brown curtains. And I think they're so cute. They're $30. I think they retail for $120. But I need to see if it's one panel or two. Because I can't tell. But this is what I got so far. This is cute. I love the rounded edges. $28.47. These are different. It has like velvet on the outside huh pretty cool mirrored on the top $9.99 hmm if I don't use these as curtains then I can repurpose them huh this is $300 it's just the left arm of the sofa looks like but we're still that's crazy look at this chocolate one it's coming up charcoal gray but it's actually like that mocha brown that i'm obsessed with and it's 300 dollars too i have nowhere to put it but if i did i would definitely get it can't See this whole thing, but this little marble table down here. Super cute. So dope. How deep it is. Oh my gosh. I am on a whole nother level. Really only f you over cause you let him. Girl, I guess he didn't know any better. Girl, that man didn't show any effort. Do all I can just to show you it's special Certain it's your love that holds me together Lately you say he been killing the vibe Gotta be sick of this guy Pull up skirt, get in the right Left hand is steering, the other is gripping your thigh Hi, how are you? Good, how you doing? Sorry. Um, no, just, just looking Look how big this pot is Oh my gosh, so big how could you switch it up on me in my dark style? I got to attach, now I'm working on my health. I thought that you vowed to be a roller. And I can't reward this strict, you know. You had the big champion, I was game over. Till it, till it's over. Hey, I'm in my mind. Can't let these heartless broken boys again. Just me, myself, and I can't lie, I wanted you the first time that I saw you. For real. You've been hurt over and over. Tell me, what has it taught you? Huh? Boy, I love you on your
hoping and praying on a downfall, praying on a downfall, baby. Okay, guys, so now that you've seen what I've seen, let's get into what I bought. So the first piece, of course, I had to grab the Marble Sphere vase because, duh. <laughs> I love it. Now, I did see this before on CB2's website. It's called the Stick It Anywhere vase. That's what she said. <laughs> that actually wasn't a joke. It's what they named the piece, okay? It's a collaboration with Jennifer Fisher and CB2, but I had seen it in the black marble and the brown marble finish. I've never seen it in this purple. So, I don't know, maybe I missed it, but I don't think so. I went to go research it and still couldn't find it. Beats me. But you guys know I have been really into that brown with the purple undertone, kind of like a mocha. And I thought this would pair really well with that. I'm very into mixing cool and warm shades, cool and warm tones. That's actually what I'm doing in my living room. You guys know I have my gray sectional and I don't plan on buying a new sofa until I move because it just doesn't make sense. Sofa is perfectly fine. Um, so I've been looking for pieces to put in there to kind of co-mingle those shades and I thought this would be perfect I just love it so much it's so if you guys caught my entryway makeover I did like a miniature version of a sphere planter with a candle holder now because it was a candle holder the opening was very shallow um, I couldn't stick anything into it so I just put some moss on top to give it some structure or mm, foundation I don't know if that's what I'm looking for, but I wanted to stick a little faux branch in there and it was gonna wobble without that. This actually has a hole, like it's a vase. It's made to hold things and it's kind of hollow on the inside, like a solid marble, but there's hollowness. <laughs> so you can actually stick things in the hole. This piece is prompting so many dirty jokes, like. But anyway, I love it, had to have it. I got it 50% off of the sticker price, which I don't remember what the original price is. I wanna say maybe it was either two or $300. That could be wrong, but they had it on clearance for $128.97 and I got 50% off of that. So what's that, $64.49? If my math is right, $64, that's $128.49. But I thought that was a great deal for the size of piece that this is and because it's marble. And it actually pairs really well with my marble coasters that I got a while back. So if you guys have been here for a while, you guys have seen this. But I got these um, marble coasters off Etsy. And do you see that? Like how cute would that be set on a table? Like even if I just want to do my little solo me time in here where I put this vase on my side table and then put this marble coaster down with my drink, such a vibe. So yeah, had to get it. So now we're going to kind of switch gears to the Pottery Barn outlet because this next piece actually pairs with this marble vase and then we'll go back to the other thing that I got from CB2. So... So. This is what I got from the Pottery Barn outlet. Um, yeah, this is fifty dollars in the store, and I got it fifty percent off, so I got it for twenty five, which is still a lot of money to me for one faux branch. Is it just me? Am I cheap? Probably, but I don't care. <laughs> So yeah, like I said, I went through that whole outlet. They had some good stuff, but nothing that I was really looking for. And I'm always on the hunt for a good faux floral. You guys know I do not like live plants. As much as I want to be a plant mom and have a green thumb, it's just not my time right now. You know, that's not my ministry. <laughs> and like I said, it's really hard to find faux branches that look real. I'm not opposed to going outside and getting branches from, you know, actual mother nature. But most times it's just kind of like, how you gonna get it? Don't you climb trees? No, motherfucker, we got bills and shit. 
the ones that I want are usually up there okay so I thought you know let's just it's on sale it's $25 that's not the best deal but it's not $50 either which is what it's priced at in the actual Pottery Barn store like not the outlet I will link it down below because I went to see online if it was still in stock and it is but I thought this was just like it's so cute it's very minimal the branch is bendable so you can adjust the height to whatever you're going to be putting it in speaking of that i thought this would be perfect inside of this mark wait gotta kind of oh kind of work it in there <laughs> yeah like are you kidding so cute so my little miniature planter situation that i had in my entryway this is the more life-size version of that and i'm i'm obsessed like it looks real to me does it look real to y'all if it doesn't keep the negativity to yourself but like i said it's just so pretty i love the little leaves it's not overbearing but it's not bare either if that makes sense so yeah it's a vibe this is just an amazing combination to me love it and my last and final piece was from the cb2 side of the crate and barrel outlet because you know they're sister stores and it's just these chocolates mocha ish velvet curtains um i don't plan on using these like hanging from a window I don't plan on using them as curtains but I thought this would be adult material to wrap around a bench or a headboard you know just use as fabric in general if I ever want to do like a project these actually retail I think like this is only one panel and the one panel retails for 120 if I'm not mistaken I'll put it up on the screen if it's a different price but I got it for $30 which I was like, dang, why can't this be two panels for $30? But that's just the frugal side of me talking. It's actually a really, really good price for the quality of curtain that this is. I have been very into, I think, I don't know if this is how you pronounce the name, but it just sounds right to me when I say it. Lemue Etsy. I have been very into those spaces, very soft. They use a lot of velvet on the couches, um, in the curtains, on ottomans. And I thought this would bring like a soft like vibe to a room. You guys know I love marble, so this would be a good juxtaposition. I've also been seeing a lot of my other favorite interior designers use velvet in their vignettes, in their showrooms, in their homes. And of course, the brown color you guys know I'm obsessed with this color it's been taking over my house and that probably won't change anytime soon so I'm thinking I've told you guys before that I'm trying to do over like a miniature intimate dining seating area so I might put this over the bench that I have in there um, I'm not quite sure yet I just felt like you know it's, it's a pretty good deal so yeah this was the last item that I got okay guys that is it for me today thank you so much for tuning in and spending some time with me I hope you guys like this format of video I'm gonna try to bring more of these to the channel because like I said I don't want you guys to miss out on pieces that I see that I just choose not to purchase you know doesn't mean they're not good it just means that I don't have the room or it's just not for me so yeah don't forget to like comment and share hit that subscribe button that notification bell if you haven't take care of yourselves those around you and your mental health and i will see you guys in my next video but until then peace out